1775 and there's the threat of war. Will a chocolatier and a naval captain be kept apart? Find out more about this book in this week's book pre-review. Hi, Terry Gillespie here, and welcome to Book Pre-Review, the books I'm excited to read. And I am very excited to read a Laura France book because I do like her books. And this most recent book, who, which was just released, is A Heart Adrift. Now, Laura is a best-selling and award-winning author, and that makes it all the more exciting to see what she's going to give us. This book is available in hardback, paperback, audio, and, audio, and e-book. And also a special thanks to NetGalley and Ravel for the advanced reader's e-copy so that I could give my honest review. The genre of this book is historical Christian romance, Christian historical fiction, and Christian historical romance. And if you want to keep in touch with Laura Franz, her website is laurafranz.com. And my husband has put that website up, up on the screen and it's probably disappeared by now but don't worry because all those really great links her website and uh, where to buy this book and some other good links are down in the description section so let's oh by the way if that little if that subscribe button is red that means you're either either brand new and welcome, or you haven't subscribed yet. So please click that red button. I would greatly appreciate it. And those who have already, uh, thank you so much. So this is a bio excerpt for Laura Franz. Laura is a Christie Award winner and the ECPA best-selling author of 11 historical novels, including The Frontiersman Daughter, Courting Moral Little, The Colonel's Lady, and The Lace Maker. The Lace Maker's great. When not reading and writing, she loves to garden, cook, take long walks, and travel. She is the proud mom of an American soldier and a care, career firefighter. Thank you for your service. When not at home in Kentucky, she and her husband live in Washington State. Ah, we used to live in Washington State. And these are the publisher notes. It's 1755 and the threat of war with France looms over colonial York, Virginia. Chocolatier Esme Shaw is fighting her own battle of the heart. Having reached her 28th birthday, she is reconciled to life alone after a decade-old failed love affair from which she never quite recovered. But she longs to find something worthwhile to do with her life. Captain Henri Lennox has returned to port after a lengthy absence, intent on completing the lighthouse in the dangerous Chesapeake Bay, a dream he once shared with Esme, but when the colonial government asked him to lead a secret naval expedition against the French, his future is plunged into uncertainty. Will a war and a cache of regrets keep them apart, or can their shared vision and dedication to the colonial cause heal the wounds of the past? Mm, sound good? Sounds good to me. So I'm looking forward to reading that. And if you are looking forward to reading that, you can purchase A Heart Adrift at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, BookBub, ChristianBook.com, and at your local retailers. And what happens if uh, this book is not on the shelf? What do we do? 
we go up to the customer service and ask for it politely, please. My reviews are posted on applicable venues like Amazon, Goodreads, BookBub, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, NetGalley, and ChristianBook.com. And also in the description section. And by the way, have you liked and commented and shared this video? Please do. It really does help these authors and these great books get out there in the YouTube world. And also, if you go down to the description section, and there's also a link to my website, and you can sign up for my newsletter if you haven't already. And if you subscribe to my newsletter, you get two free gifts. And also, there's a section on the books that I've written. And if you want to stop by and take a look, I'd be very happy. Thank you. Also, if you could like, follow, and subscribe to my social media sites, that is a great way to keep in touch with me. And my husband has put up all those little icons there for you. And the links are down below. So thanks again for stopping by this week for another really interesting potential great read. But I know this is going to be a great read. So check back with me next week. And in the meantime, God bless and keep reading. Keep reading, keep reading.